What's up everyone and welcome to a new video of mine. Now a couple of weeks back you saw my guitar vault video where I basically went to my storage place to check out all the guitars that I have. Old Washburns, old Strictly 7 guitars, basically, you know, all my guitars. But in that video there was a bunch of guitars missing and those were my dime bag guitars, my dime bag related guitars. So that's what I've been doing today. I brought out the cases. Some of these you probably already seen been used in my videos and four of them are actually sort of new. This past April I toured with the Haunted and at the Gates in Australia and I went to Melbourne and a friend of mine called Frank who has a great Washburn dime bag collection. You might already see my video of that one. If you haven't, click up here. And as some of you guys probably understand, I bought a couple of his guitars. Well, actually, I traded some of my Washburn solo guitars to him. So he got two of my Washburn solo guitars and I brought home four Dimebag guitars. It was a really good deal. Thank you so much, Frank. So yeah, let's just open it up, see what's up. All right, first guitar I want to show is this guitar right here. Now this is my Washburn SD Pro guitar. When it's from, I think it's 2004 maybe. It's an import Dimebag guitar. It has the Dimebucker and the 59 in there. Flame veneer, looks great. This is like a high spec import guitar right here, which has all the correspondent hardware, you know, that we, you would use in a US custom shop guitar. It has the volute and whatnot. And also the Seymour Duncan Dimebucker and the 59 in the neck here. And yeah, this is a great simple playing guitar. I like this guitar a lot. It has a couple of damages and whatnot, but you know, it, it plays great. It's a great guitar. So my next guitar is an actual Washburn US 3ST. I bought this from eBay and it was in horrible shape. Like it was totally f***ed <laughs> up on the horns here and you know, but I got it cheap. And at that time I was part of Washburn. I had sold our guitars over at Washburn by then. So I sent this to Chewy, who did most of the US custom shop paintings and all that for Dimebag. So I sent him this guitar. He fixed it up, he refinished it, and it's absolutely kick-ass. This guitar is from 2000. I actually owned a 3ST back in the day, around 2000, 2001. And then I sold it, because I'm stupid, and I always regretted it, and now I have a 3ST back. And special for this one is that it says Domination on the neck there. I don't know if you can see, but that's pretty cool. It has uh, OBL. 500 XL flipped, of course, in a pickup position here. This is so fing hell. <laughs> This is my only non-Washburn Dimebag guitar. This is my Dean from Hell. I bought it from Toman this past winter uh, as a Christmas gift to myself. And you probably saw that video. And uh, yeah, it's one out of a hundred. What is it? It's number 40. It's the old Buddy, was it Buddy Blaze graphic 
on here. And yes, basically a, a replica of Dimebag's original, Dime from Hell. It has a Bill Lawrence USA pickup here in the bridge in a 59 classic in the uh, neck position. And the, as you can see here, there's also this on the volume and tone knob so you can easily catch them, you know, when, when you're playing live. It's a nice little feature and tucked right there. And it's also, I don't know if you can see, but it's taped here so the string won't get caught in there. I guess that was a problem for Dimebag. <laughs> Okay, so those are the three guitars that you might have seen from me. Now I'm gonna show you the four guitars that I got from Australia. Okay, so this is a 95 Dimebolt Washburn. It's not in perfect condition. It has a bunch of dents and uh, the color has been faded. Uh, it's turning green here at the sides and you know, this is more like almost black rather than blue. But this guitar sounds super awesome. Original Bill Lawrence 500 XL. 59 neck pickup and yeah, it's just like oh Sounds great. Look at the back here Looks killer Even though this guitar had its finishing flaws After I played it. I just had to have it. It sounded it's so incredibly awesome. Yeah This is sick <laughs> Okay, this, this right here. It's the f***ing cross, baby. This is not actually the Southern Cross. This is an import, Boogie Street, the cross. Just as with the Southern Cross, which was made in the US custom shop, this one was made in 100 pieces. Also, like the Southern Cross, they're pretty hard to come by. But this Southern Cross finish is like, this for me is the holy grail of dime bag guitars right here. And uh, this one has a dime bucker in it, uh, 59. If you want to learn if it's a Southern Cross, US Custom Shop or a Cross import version, you can see it on the inlay. The Southern Cross US Custom Shop does not have a first cross inlay here on the first fret. So that's an easy way for you to determine if someone's selling a cross, claiming it's a Southern Cross, you can see on the first fret here if it's real or not. So yeah. This is 24 out of 100. And it's sick. Okay, last but not least, if the cross was a sick ass guitar, then this is even sicker. This 
is my holy grail. This is the Southern Cross, US Custom Shop, 47 out of 100. They actually only made 93 of them before they stopped making them. This is in as mint condition as can be. And this has been on my wish list since they released this guitar. This is just like... It's absolutely beautiful. Dimebacker in the bridge, 59 in the neck. And as you can see, it doesn't have the first fret inlay here. And yeah, it's just a, such a oh, sick ass guitar. Oh, I forgot, but it's signed by Zach Wilde himself in 06. And uh, personally, I don't really care about stuff being signed unless it was signed for me. So uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess it could stay there. Also, the back plate is signed by Nick Cantonese with uh, Dime Rules. And uh, yeah. Nick Cantonese is not as hot of a name as he was back in the day, I would say. So this is a dream come true for me. And I'm so happy that I was able to trade this one with Frank. Frank, thank you so much for letting me have this guitar. <laughs> oh my God, I love this guitar. It's in such a great condition too. I kind of feel intimidated by just holding it like this. Uh, yeah. So both the cross and the Southern Cross comes with a certificate. Here's the one for the US Custom Shop. Signed by Dimebag. Made in 2005. Nice. So yeah, those are my Dimebag guitars. This case sucks, by the way, look at it. Yeah, I'm very happy and I feel very fortunate to be able to have all these awesome guitars. It's me being a total fan and a total nerd <laughs> regarding Dimebag. And you know, I'm just very happy to own all of these. And I'm gonna try and give them as much love as I can. You know, just a tad bit. Emotional right there. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.